Hi and welcome to this first video in a series on data presentation and in this one there's quite a bit to get through but in this first video we're just going to be looking at central tendency. So that's all that we've got to get through, central tendency, mean, mode, median, statistical notation, uh, quartile, percentile, standard deviation, then interpolation and coding. There's a whole bunch of stuff there but in this one like I say we're just going to be looking at central tendency which let's face it is just basically a posh word for averages. And hopefully most of this stuff will be you'll be familiar with and quite happy with from GCSE. But we're just going to kind of formalize the notation a little bit more. So here we go. Central tendency, this idea of kind of middleness or, or average. So we've got mean. And the mean is some of the data divided by the number of pieces of data. So now we're introducing this idea of X bar, which you may or may not have seen before. And this thing up here is a sigma, which means sum. So, uh, sum. so basically what this means is we're just going to sum all our individual pieces of data and then divide by how many there are. So this formula here is just a posh way of describing the sentence that's written up here. Okay and if we have group data similar kind of thing so we now if you remember kind of your group data work and we'll have examples later in the video uh, but we've got frequency times by the number of um, pieces of data in each group so we've got frequency times by the data value divided by the sum of the frequencies, which again is just how many pieces of data there are. Okay, then we've got the median, which is just the middle value from ordered data, and the mode or modal class, which is the most commonly occurring. That's stuff we know. So let's have a quick example. So we've got the mean average rate of 8 forwards in rugby team is 112.9. The seven backs were an average of 104.6. What's the average for the whole team? And again, this is just to do with getting used to the, uh, the notation as much as anything else. So we know that just for the forwards, the, uh, the average is the sum of x over n, and we know that, that one there is 112.9, and we know we've got eight pieces of data, so therefore the total weight of the forwards is simply going to be eight times 112.9, so it's 903.2. If we do the same with the backs, and this time I'm going to use y to represent the backs, so there we go, same again, um, and now we've got sum of y over m, this time we're going to use to represent how many backs we've got, Put in the values, same as we did before, and so we've got the uh, total weight of all the backs. And then clearly the average for the whole team is going to be those two bits added together, and then divided by 15. And so the average weight of the player in the team is 109.3, sorry, 0 0.03. Okay, on we go. So this time we've got a frequency table. So we'll keep with a rugby theme, so the number of tries scored in uh, each game over the course of the season. So let's first just make sure we're clear on, uh, on what the table shows. So down the bottom here, we've got two games where we scored, no, where no tries were scored. Over here, we've got 14 games that had five tries scored. And so, so the mean, mode, and uh, median number of tries. So let's start off with the mode, which uh, was the most commonly occurring number of tries per game. Well, that's clearly going to be over here. So our mode is 5. Now the median, what we're going to do is try and figure out where the median is. So we need to know well, how many pieces of data have we got. Well, there's total 57 games in the season. So that means the median piece of data is going to be the 29th piece of data. And this little formula here, this kind of effectively n plus 1 over 2 allows you to find the middle or halfway. So we have a look up here what we've got is two games where no tries were scored and I've got another three games where one try scored so if I start imagine writing all these out so I'll go 0 0 1 1 1 I've written down five values if I write down now all the twos I've got five there so that'll take me up to ten all the threes that's so I've now imagine I've written down uh, 19 pieces of data and then if I include all of these ones that's going to take me up to the 31st piece of data so that means that the 90, 29th piece of data has got to be a 4. So what we're saying is the 19th piece of data is a 3, the 31st piece of data is a 4, and as I said before, that means the median has got to be a 4. Right, and then on we go. So there's our formula for the uh, mean. So now what we need to do is sum of fx. So fx would be so x times f, each time x times f, x times f. So we're going to need 0 there, 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 5 is 10, and so on, all the way through. We want the sum of those, so we need to add up all our blue numbers, which gives us 235. Some of the frequencies we've already got up here, that's the 57. 
So we've got our mean average, which is 235 over 57, which is 4.12 tries per game. OK, on we go. So here we go. We've got another group example. This time we've got um, times the nearest second of runs in the 400 metres. And first thing it says is calculate an estimate. Now it's saying estimate very deliberately because we know from the table, for example, here we've got seven runners that ran somewhere between 58 and 60 seconds, but we don't know exactly how fast they ran. So that's why it's going to be an estimate. They could have run 58 seconds, they could have run 60. But what we're going to do is assume, hopefully you're aware that we, we assume that they're going to run 59. So we're going to use the midpoint for each one. Right, now this uh, calculation, what I've done uh, when I teach this one, I've got a, a YouTube video of how to use the keystrokes in your class with calculator. So I will leave you to have a look at that. If you go to Smash Maths and just uh, search for group data, um, you'll, you'll find the video and you can watch that. It works, goes through this worked example. And after all that, we should find that the average is 65.09 seconds.